Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to draw this three-dimensional figure using Tinkercad. So firstly, this is the workplace on Tinkercad. We'll select a cube. We can change the color from this solid shapes. Now, according to the question given, so the total dimension of this figure is one zero two. This is the length of the figure that is one zero two. Height given is seventy five, and the remaining dimension you can do the math and get the all the three dimensions. So according to these dimensions, we can select the block and make it accordingly. So this is one zero two. The depth of the figure you can calculate that is twenty two plus thirty five plus thirteen. So this is twenty two. I'll just make this small. So twenty two plus thirty five plus thirteen. That is seventy. So the depth of the figure is seventy. So this dimension is seventy. And height of the total figure is seventy five. that is given so this, this is the entire area where our three dimensional figure will be now here you can see the center part that is 32 this distance 32 it is a slant cut so we will take this triangle shape and will align it accordingly so that we can cut the block so this triangle shape will be a shape of a hole will uh, transform it into whole shape so that we'll be able to cut it so according to the dimensions i'm arranging it so accordingly we can cut it so this is how the shape it is we have to cut the shape so for cutting now we'll make this solid part that is the center part into the shape of a hole now i'm just aligning it properly the distance accordingly from the bottom how much distance we have to leave i am just aligning it properly the center is 32 and it is at the center so i'll aligning it at the center the width is 32 now we have to doing this shape the center part into a whole shape now we'll select this group this so accordingly it will be cut now similarly we have to do for this shapes also we will cut accordingly the shapes the entire block into sections now before that as it is a total symmetrical figure so what we'll do we'll cut this block into half so the total figure into half will be 51 so i am cutting the entire figure into half so that we'll design only the half section and then we'll duplicate it and then we'll join it so now i'm cutting this entire block into a half section so just putting any dimension random dimension here now i'll align this block at the edge so it will cut this block into entire half section select this increase it backwards move it backwards select group so the half part is cut now according to the figure we'll just make this half part properly then we'll duplicate it and join it so it will be a complete symmetrical figure as it is symmetrical so we are doing this it will be a shortcut method to do now cutting this part so the distance we can see accordingly This is seventy-five minus thirty-two. The height we will get the this height is forty-three. As we have to cut the above part, I am making this forty-three. Moving it upward from the height, this height is thirty-two. So moving it upward, here we have to put thirty-two. I put it forty-two by mistake. I'll change it to thirty-two. Just align it at this edge. this distance is 13 this is 
so increasing this distance to 57 now you can see it is above at a height of 10 which we had put that is 47 so i'll decrease this height for 32 this is 32 from the bottom so moving it downward to a height of 32 we had increased it to 42 by mistake so this is 32 so i'll put it here 32 and it will be properly aligned now as it is a whole shape we'll group this so it will automatically cut the shape so this shape is ready now only the slant part is remaining this slant part so again we'll take the triangle shape we'll align it properly this angle we put it 45 directly so aligning it and adjusting it this width is 22 so this is how the shape you have to cut the height will arrange it properly I'm measuring the distance this is 22 moving it downward grouping this it is cut but it is not cut symmetrically so I'll just move this increase the height move it downward a bit and increase the height have to pull this part move upward and then I'll move it downward I'll align it properly distance is 13 just increase this okay and we are good to go group so now as you can see it is aligned aligned properly the final touch this part is also a slant part and then we are good to go just align this again just we have to select any block we have to convert it into whole shape and we have to cut the parts accordingly so just doing it quickly I'll just move quickly with this you can just follow and use your own way of designing cutting tools just basic you need to know practice it and then you can do it on your own this is a very simple application or the software you can use to study a simple projects blocks you can even convert this into 3d printing uh, into stl file you can convert these objects into stl file and if you have a 3d printer using the slicers you can convert this and then you can 3d print it as you can see i'm just moving it quickly and i'll deal with this So now you can see this part is cut now this is the just the half part now what we will do we will just duplicate this part we will just make a copy of this normally you can do with control C control V copy paste now we will take the mirror image of this as you have to attach at the center so this is the conversion of mirror image now we will just move it closer we will join and then we will again group so after grouping this will be a single object aligning it properly so just give it a look the center line should not be there the joining line should not be there if there is a joining line then you have not joined it properly when you group it the properly the joining line will also go so here you can see we have properly joined this block and this is now a single block we have converted our figure into this figure now I have earlier drawn this orthographic figure with the top view side view and the front view uh, on the paper the video link is there in the description you can check it out so in this video I have converted this figure into front top and side view I will just show you how in this three dimension we can view so this is the three dimensional figure we will convert this into a 
flat orthographic view so this is the option flat orthographic view click on that i'll just switch this okay fine flat orthographic view now click on the front view so this is the front view you can see you can compare with the video you can see there are no hidden parts the slant line is also look straight in the front view now moving towards the top view this is the top view from top also the slant lines both the slant lines look straight in the top view this part this is the slant part which looks straight now moving towards the right hand side view so this is the right hand side view we can convert this block into a transparent block also so we can view all the lines like the hidden lines also we can view so in the front view you can see the inner slant line is the hidden line if you have to draw it in the orthographic view we have to draw it dotted converting back to the solid so this is totally done hope you have understood it with the software which will be helpful follow for more subscribe and enjoy learning thank you